She's just done. Done with the drama, done with the bullshit. She's not mad, she's not bothered. She's just protecting her peace. It's not about being cold or distant. It's about knowing what she deserves and refusing to settle for anything less. She's learned that not every battle is worth her energy, and she's not wasting time explaining herself to people who were never listening in the first place. If it doesn't add value to her life or lift her up, she's leaving it behind without a second thought. She's in her do-not-disturb era, where her time is sacred and her boundaries are firm. There's no place for fake friends, empty promises, or anything that drains her. She's not burning bridges. She's just building new ones that lead to places she truly belongs. And if she seems distant, it's not because she's lost. It's because she's found herself. and I put it in my box. <laughs> I bought it from Shopper. It's so good. It's so good. school but of course they're not so new at hi cookity <coughs> i have some i did a little mud in their wall that's basically what you call when you like cover holes and stuff like screw holes and all that i'm gonna repaint the room i kind of dig in the purple in the back and the white on the side and then i really like these lights so i might just replicate the same tactics in here and paint the room because i'm really liking that vibe all right, I gotta get these girls together. Hi, Cookie. Good morning, baby girl. Come down here. Come down here and see me. Come down here. Come right here. Come right here. Come here. Come here. Come down here. Come down here. Hi, Mama. Good morning. Good morning, my love. How are you? You be good girl. Thank you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Peekaboo. Baby girl, are you my baby girl? Are you my good girl? Mama. Come here, come talk to me. Come here, come up here, come here, come, come up here, come up here, come up here, girl. Come here, sweetie. Step up, step up, step up. Go, goody. Go, goody. Come on, girl. Come say hi to the friend. Thank you for hand kisses, but that's not what I want, cookie. That way you can say hi to me. Come here. I gotta go soon. Come here, go, buddy. Okay. Hi, my favorite girl, my only girl. What's wrong, baby? Go lay on your bed. I'm coming, okay? I'm gonna come. I gotta shower these babies. All right, girl, I gotta go shower them babies. I love you. And then I have up here the paint. I just haven't found the right color yet. I love you so much, okay? You be a good girl. I do. I love you. You my girl. Oh, thank you, baby. Bacon, 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 bacon. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. I love you more. I love you. Thank you for kisses. You should try to take some of the gloss. Yeah. I love her so much. All right. You go up there, my sweet angel girl. Hey, Mango. All the cookies, my absolute favorite. I still got to greet all the others. Come here, Pinky. Pinky. Come here. You've been showing off lately, eh, Panky? You used to just come out. My first bird. You used to just come out, and now you're showing out, Panky Panky. Yes, Peaches, I hear you. Peaches like, Psh, showing out. You don't take me out enough. Let's go, girl. Come on. Hey, my boy. My only boy. This is my Peaches boy. This is my favorite bird. This is my husband's favorite bird, actually. He's, he and my husband are more tight. 
Henry. And Henry's just my little runner. Henry. 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 But Henry's one of the smartest budgies ever. He, good boy. He talks and everything. Hello, Henry. Don't do it, Henry. Henry, don't do it. Henry, don't do it. Don't do it, Henry. Give me a kiss. Thank you. How are you this morning? You good boy? I raised this little one. Remember this little one I raised? And he talks like nobody's business. He's such a good boy. Henry is a good budgie parakeet. Henry is a lovely boy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> go back. Hi, baby. Okay, come on. Let's go. Why is everybody acting sick? Let's not stay home another day. Come on. Let's go. Come. Yes, baby. Come, Robbie. Uh, not this today again. Come on. Our stomachs will have to be okay. We can't. We can't wake up with tummy aches every day. Okay. Come on. You remind me of a cat. But you're just oh, look at them. Oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> She's so cute. Hi, mama. Oh, come here. Come here, angel bitch. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Okay, it's okay, guys. Relax. Yeah, come on. You were just holding her. Come on, focus on her pretty face. Be careful with her. Be careful. She's a squirmer. Careful. You got her? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, Simone, hang on. This is hang on. Okay. Watch yourself, please. All right. Hi. Hello. Say hi, Ram. Hi. So they're in the. Remy, head up. Head up, baby. Hem, Remy, head up. I got a lotion you oil your face. Remy Ann. Remy, head up. You're not funny. You're not <laughs> funny at all. Hello. Whatever, Remy Ann. Hello. Hello. Oh, we can't Hello. Yes, the Hello. Say hi. Thank you. Remy, go and say hi. 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 No, Remy, let's go. Yeah. Wee. All right. Um, what style are we going for today? A. Same. B. Okay, so this will give um, Remy the same. A. M. Um, One is um yesterday. A. B. Yeah. C. D. I'm still the same. Is the pasta in the pot yet? Pasta. Yeah, we're making pasta, so the water on the stove. Could you put some pasta in there? Sloan can Greg got cheese in it. Yeah, he will. F G. Greg got cheese in it. H O K A L O B Q R S Q U B. Why you? What's that? Cover your mouth, Nairobi Ferguson. Thank you very much. Did you hear me, young lady? Yeah. Yes, cover your mouth, please. It's very important. Yeah. Yeah. It keeps the diarrhea from you. It keeps the germs away from you. It keeps the money. She looks gorgeous. Yay. Okay. Beautiful. Look at my girls. Look at my rim rim. Look, Remy, look. Why you gotta be miserable every day? Come on, Nairobi. Yeah. Now, Robbie, seriously. <laughs> Ow. Everybody looks cute. Oh lord. You guys are triplets today. Come on, Rem. Let's go get breakfast. Come on. Mom. Remy, can we just Mom. not do this? Thank you. Now, I'm not lifting you up. You're being naughty today. You're not giving me a break. Okay. Simone looks gorgeous. I love your outfit. Thank you, Mom. Okay. Go. Oh, you look amazing, my Ruby. Thank you. You look amazing, Remy Ann. Thank you. <sighs> Raising girls. And I got five of them. <laughs> I don't know how many 
Yay, Mike! 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 Yay, just get one from the fridge. But you see there's only enough. I just put two there for them. Oh. Here. Um, you want you want an apple this morning, Nairobi? No, you don't need to take it down. Leave it here. Put them back, please. Yay, banana. Mom, okay. I love banana blueberry. Okay. Um, I don't know if we have that Nairobi. Jesus. Mama, 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 Mama. No, there's only strawberry and banana. Do you want yeah. that one? Okay, Remy, I got it. I love strawberry and banana. I ate that two weeks. Remy, you're supposed to be taking this with you. Huh? You're supposed to take them with you, not eat them now. Oh, yeah. Boo-baby, I'm All right. Okay, guys, let's make breakfast. Um, yeah, breakfast. I'm I want you. eggs no. for breakfast. Yeah. Okay, perfect. That's exactly I want what I was going to make. Eggs. All right. I'll need to cut up your apples for you. Yippee, I got chocolate. Leave it. Doesn't matter. Oh, God, someone's such an instigator. She just knows how to always instigate a fight. This is mine. Between she and her. The, the bigger kids, they kind of make their own lunch. What are you having today, Mr. Matthew? Why is there two open chocolate thing in your thing? Like, oh, this is the chocolate that Lauren gave me yesterday. Yeah. On the garbage. Put in the garbage. Yeah, the big kids kind of do their own thing, make their own lunches. Kiki, she's a big girl, so she buys her own lunch now. Kira has like a, a big sale business going on at school and everything, selling candy business, chocolate business. It's been doing pretty good. She's been doing a really good job at hustling up her own little independent pocket change. I'm pretty proud of her for that. Kira and her little side business. Yes. That's not how we call mom. Say, mom, can you help me, please? Straw's not going in. Yeah. You're so beautiful today, Remy Ann. Thanks, Mom. Okay, aren't you going to go do your hair? Go and do your hair. What does that mean? Okay, you better go lay down for a little bit then, because y'all are going to, sc going to school. It's like 8 20, 24 already. Lord have mercy. Yes, girls. Okay, okay, hold on. I got to move. Okay, guys, I got to turn down the camera for a sec. I need to, like, move. Why do you guys complain about everything? Why do you have to go? Touch or take. You don't have a pack pack. Me too. I do. Oh. I can go up. I need to try to read. Take me here soon. I'm going to pull out the chairs. Okay. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Pierre said it for business. I'm going to go to Cocoa. Cocoa. Matt, Matt, what does cocoa look? Is it bubble tea? What? What did you say, Matt? I said it's bubble tea. 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 Go put on deodorant. Come spray up, girls. Come get them. Nope, socks. Let's go. Come spray up. Robbie, where would you put your sock? Time to leave. It's eight twenty-seven. Yeah. But the pasta's not done yet. Yeah, I know. You guys kind of woke up late. Okay, come on. Where's your socks? Okay, get them on. Here, your socks. You can, you didn't even try. Are they going to school? Um, no, they're going to school. Everybody's going to school. Come on. Let me see. Straps on the outside, remember? Are you already went and stepped in cheese and everything? 
All right, remember, put your shoes together, please. Straps on the outside. Here's your straps. Make sure they're on the outside of your foot. So, pick the shoe. Is the shoe yep, it's a strap on the outside. Uh-huh. Very good. That's how you know it's the right one. Let me see if you learned anything, Mona. Very good. Where's the straps? There's a star on the outside of your foot. There's a star on this side. It is. See? It's on that side. Very good. I can't push it. Just stand up. Just stand up and push down. Stand up and push down. Got it? Hold this part. Pull this part up with your hands. Remember, your teachers won't be there to help you, so you got to help yourself. Mommy it's good? It. Okay, now strap it. Mommy did it. Hair? The shoes is bigger than your foot. Mom, look. Take it off. Maybe you didn't put your sock properly. Oh, you did it, Moni. Very good. Take it off. How does it, how does it hurt? I thought it was literally a size up. Is it? Maybe it's a sock. No, it's not. No, it's kind of these little dots. Yeah, you need to fix your sock. Okay, let me fix your sock. Uh huh. You thought you couldn't. You didn't even try. All right, where's that knife? It's right there. Yeah. All right, so there. Mom, got my baby shoes. Okay, put it on, bye bye. Okay. Bye, have a good day. Let me see. Time for them to get out the car. Thank me. Bye. Bye. You'll be okay, Remy. Don't worry. Sometimes Remy gets anxious when they have to go and she can't go. She's waiting for her two years to be up. What is it? Hold on, I'm coming. All right, so I've dropped all the kids. Now I'm heading home. Feels good. Well, all the kids. I still got Remy. <laughs> but for the most part, I dropped all the kids today. All right, Rem, ready to go? Mm-hmm. I just got back and I'm gonna get ready to go shower and then I gotta go um I gotta go pick up some clothes for baby cakes so I'm going to go shower why do you feel so far between who's in my room always someone in my room I can always tell when someone's in my room because crumbs just come everywhere <laughs> all right yeah of course they were see because they even did not put their candy again as usual i try to always keep the room clear so that the robot can do her job properly by making sure all the floors and stuff are clear at all times so now i need to pick my outfit i'm gonna go hopefully the tire guy calls today to tell me he got the thing he needs so we can get the other two tires on the back i just want to get it done so then i'll have one car with the winter tires on and then i will put my other car my other van in the shop so the winter tires or all season tires can go on that one because the one that is on there now the tread is completely like the tread's done it's just time to change the switch them up and i like to be very safe especially in the winter where i'm petrified to always drive it's like yeah about that so i'm not working today so i get to get a few things done i actually wanted to be home to do to finish up the laundry today, but um, this will cute. But I guess we'll just do that another time, or maybe when I come back. But I gotta get these clothes for baby cakes because I'm trying to. Know. Is it baby cakes? No, I think it's Maxwell actually. Yeah, I got in Kate some clothes. I think it's Maxwell. I'm picking up some clothes for, just so he has some winter stuff. Um, I'm still new to my whole room that I don't even remember where I put half my stuff like underwear and bras and I have like multiple drawers to keep those I guess. Alright. Okay, see you guys. I'm here getting ready outfit of the day. <laughs> I'm just wearing something comfortable to go do these runs. And I'm gonna put my belt on. I come head out of here and then come back and do laundry. Are you ready? Yeah. Careful. Alright, so we are ready to go. We're taking this car today. Um, not necessarily today. Okay? Pick up my sister? No, we're not picking up your sisters. Uh, I gotta go do a pickup, okay? Just uh -oh. every day. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get some brighter lights in here. That's something I gotta work on. Darker paint with brighter lights. Oh, 
my bus. Something I do have to work on though is getting car seats for both vehicles. It'll just make transitioning a lot easier rather than moving the seat, bringing it back. <sighs> Ain't nobody got no time for that, man. Oh, that's what those are for. It's for the car area. Okay. Yeah, it makes It's just that I also have some of the car seats in my husband's car as well. So I'm just like, just moving from car to car. I'm just going to be because now moving from car seats from car to car can be such a headache sometimes. Oh my god. Where is it? Mom, my bag. Um, it's right beside you. Yeah. Right there. Oh, okay. So I need to get an extra car seat. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Wait, oh maybe I don't even need to do all those. Uh, mom. What's up, baby? Get off my bag. Did this was a present? Yeah. Okay, that's one. This one side. Okay. There's the other. Oh my god, I just fell off. Oh god. Let's see. Hands in. about this seat. <coughs> Cover my mouth. I'm completely reclining. Alright, we're ready to go. So before we go anywhere, let us set up our YouTube. Mm, does it matter, Ram, what you want to watch? Mm. You want to kind of... Let me let me just sit here. I'll make you pick it yourself. Sheriff Labrador? Ready to go? Yeah. She will take the whole chip and fling it to the floor. Remy, something else. I got my little snacks here for myself. And my pop. And now we're ready to go on the road. Turn left. Alright, we are back home. Remy, Remy, Remy. Ready to go inside? Yeah. Alright, watch out. That is fun. That was fun? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 pack up my school's. They kind of fell off the bag. Oh, Remy, stop this. Can we calm down? No, we're not bringing in no tablet in the house. Jack it off. Thank you. Take off your shoes and put it back in the cubby. Because the tablet, I leave it specifically in the car for when we are going on road trips. I'm going to be looking for it in the house. Oh, Remy. Take a deep breath. Shoes, please. Shoes, please. Thank you. Ram, calm down, please. Calm down, please. Stop the crying and stop that silly fussing. I don't like it. Something I'm trying to break her out of is just this unnecessary fussing for no reason when she can't have her own way. Rem, deep breaths right now or you're grounded. Deep breath. Can we take a deep breath? Yes, deep breath. You need one. Calm down. You're fussing for no reason. Mommy should be able to say something. You should be able to say, okay, mama. All right, you're fine. You're beautiful. Look at you. Look how stunning you are. 
Look at my beautiful Remy. You're welcome, baby. Thanks, Mom. I love you, okay? Tablet stays in the car, baby. We can watch movie together on couch with popcorn. How does that sound? I'm gonna put on some rice, okay? Alright, you're okay. I love you. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Alright, come on. No more fussing, okay? Boom. Put it there. High five. Hot. Love you. Let's make some rice. Come on. Alright, so I'm gonna put on some rice for myself. Make some lunch. Oh, kitchen is a little polished, you know? Well, I'll probably do that after. I'm going to focus on the laundry right now. Okay, bye-bye. All right, let's make some rice. Okay. Make some rice. You know, yesterday, <laughs> the end of my video really cracked me up. All right. My rice just finished. Perfect. So that looks really good. And I'm gonna try to figure out what I wanna put that with to eat that with. So I know a few of you were asking about this area here. So you guys remember how I brought a table in? Well, as great as the table was, we realized that we spent a lot of time, sometimes family-wise, in the kitchen. Especially when I'm cooking, everybody would just pile up in the kitchen and it just was not working. Like the table literally came all the way up to here and then I had like this much room where the stove was and then the table came all the way out here and then there was probably like maybe yay much room. So it just wasn't working. So what I basically did was cut the table up. This is still the same table. I cut the table up and I basically placed it here. <laughs> I placed it like this and I um, sold the chairs and I bought bar stools instead. And then I epoxied the entire countertop to kind of make it one flush thing. And then I basically just got these brackets here, brackets, and installed it as like a bar area, which works out great for us, right? Because then we have like this bar style area and then remember my favorite thing about that table was it came with the drawers so we still have that which is great i mean i just kind of painted it to go with the rest of the cupboards and stuff so yeah that's basically that little new i filmed this like i filmed this for a few days when i was doing it just it was just one of those videos that just never got the chance to see the light or even get edited for that matter but now that i've enjoyed my food it is time to get some of this laundry done but yeah, yesterday, I apologize um, for the end of the vlog. I honestly did come with the intention, kind of, to explain a little bit. But then I just got to a point where I'm just, I'm just tired of explaining myself all the time. You know what I mean? Because that problem also lies with me. You know, I will tell myself I'm going to do something and then... I don't do what I'm supposed to do. I don't commit to the promise I made to myself and then I fall backwards. And then to always have to explain it, it's just so annoying sometimes and I'm just over it. So I've just now get to a point where I need to just honor the things that I say I'm going to do towards myself. So if I tell myself I'm going to value myself, I need to value myself. If I say I'm going to bring different people in my peace, in my inner circle, I need to just follow through with that and just stop making excuses for why people should be allowed to use me or to have me in a place of darkness you know what i mean because sometimes we really hold people in our lives that don't belong there like god is telling us let them go and we just still have them there because in our head we're trying to convince ourselves that we need them that we can't do without these this person that we won't be able to find better that nobody does for us what you know other what they do for us which is really in reality nothing when we really sit down and jot it down we are doing more for some people than they've ever been willing to do for us and you could put yourself to the test with that by sometimes you'll ask certain people whether it's a friend partner relative to do certain things and they wouldn't but then all of a sudden they'll call you and expect like they expect for you to do it and because you've been doing it for so long it's weird when you tell them no. I've noticed with people, they want me to be emotionally available for them at all times. You know, I hear people like, oh, when, you, when I call, you always answer your phone. You always need to be there and you always need to make yourself um, emotionally available. Or you always need to make yourself available. And I'm just like, hold up, hold up. What? So when I call you in my moments of need, you don't answer the phone. 
Majority of time, they don't answer the phone. Majority of time, they're too busy. They have their life to live. They can't. All sorts of excuses. But I can't make no excuse. So I'm supposed to be sit down, stagnant, have all these people on speed dial just waiting for when they need me, waiting for when they need me to do their bidding, waiting for when they need me to fix their problems, waiting for when they need to use me for something. I'm just not with that anymore. You know, I'm just getting to a place where I'm starting to see that I'm valuable. And I'm starting to see that some people are placing my value where I'm allowing them to place it. So even though I'm saying, oh, look at me, I'm valuable. This is what my worth is. And I'm putting out actions to show that. I'm not following through with some of the things that I put on my own self. So therefore, people say, oh, she's easy. Oh, she's stupid. Oh, we can just get away with that. All we have to do is just apologize, say it this way. And she, we're, she ain't going nowhere. We're still going to be friends. She ain't going nowhere. We're still going to be lovers. She ain't going nowhere. We're still family. We're blood. You know, because blood is thicker than water, all that crap. And that's what we sit and we convince ourselves that it's okay for them to treat us this way. You cannot be used if you do not make yourself useful. So if you do not put yourself in a position to be used by others, they cannot use you. Literally. Saying no is okay. Doesn't mean that you're not a good person. A lot of times we try to convince ourselves in our head that, oh, we're a good person. That's why we're doing this. That's why we're kissing ass. And that's why we're allowing others to take advantage and take liberty. You know that saying? Liberty comes true. Carelessness? Yes. So you make someone use your vehicle. They crash your vehicle. Then all of a sudden, well, what do you want me to do about that? That's not my problem. Well, had you not been careless and allowed them to use your stuff, knowing damn well that's your insurance, anything happens, it's going to come back on you because that's your vehicle, all of that. You thought you could do something nice for a friend and, you know, push come to shove. They're not going to let nothing happen, but things happen in life. But when the hard thing comes, that's when you're going to see who that person really is. And I've just allowed myself to be careless for far too long. And I'm just taking that all back. Like, you have to value me. And if you won't value me, then I'm going to value myself. I'm going to put all that love and energy and value that I placed onto you, onto myself. So I can continue to pour into my young children. And I've just neglected myself for a while. And I've tried to convince myself that it's okay what people do to me it's okay if they're not helping enough it's okay that they're talking to me this way it's okay that they think that i have to do their bidding because it's them and i shouldn't ask any question and i shouldn't feel no type of way it's okay i keep convincing myself yet here i am still convincing these people that this is my value this is my worth but they're placing my value where i have always been allowing them to place it which is not here or here, here, because this is what I've always tolerated is for them to treat me like this. So why would they treat me any better? Why would they want to bring up their value? That's going to be money for them, one, that they have to spend. That's going to be time, effort, energy that they have to put in now that they weren't putting in before. So why would they? You have to open up your mind and start to see when something is for you. And sometimes you have to make hard decisions and walk away from things and people that no longer holds value to you, that no longer suits you and it doesn't make you a bad person or like oh she's not humble no that's not what it is sometimes you are too humble that's your problem you're too humble and you convince yourself that you are it's okay for people to treat you like crap and you should take it because you're such a humble good soul no you can be a good soul with healthy firm boundaries with healthy firm principles and stand on them and don't neglect them for anyone don't make excuses for people to treat you bad if something feels wrong, it's probably most likely wrong. And you should change that narrative because if you don't, they're going to always think it's okay. You know, people will always treat you how you allow them to treat you. You know what I mean? Walk away. Sometimes that is hard to walk away, but sometimes you have to walk away. And when you walk away, it's going to hurt at first. But trust me, when that hurt starts to fade, it's the best feeling in the world. The absolute best. Anyways, that's my little pep talk for the day, you guys. I know I owed you guys like a little explanation, but I just got into a place where I'm just kind of tired of explaining certain things. I realize that I have to work on me. You know, I can't say something and then practice something different. I have to practice what I preach, especially if I'm going to preach it to you guys. I have to practice it for myself and I have to drill it and apply it to my own life before I can come out there and say, hey, I'm so confident. No, I'm not. I'm still working on that. I tell myself I'm confident and I'm confident in different levels of life in different aspects of things I do in my life but I'm still a work in progress every day but with time the wisdom starts to come out and I'm starting to just realize that I'm still allowing the same things that I've allowed from when I was a teenager and it's just time to grow 33 next year my god 
I gotta. It's time that I take my happiness back full heartedly. Even if that means I gotta take it back and be alone. Even if that means I gotta take it back and have zero friends. Even if that means I gotta take it back and have no family members left, no lovers. That's just life. That's just what it is. As long as I'm happy and this glow that I have right now stays with me and this feeling of clarity and calm that's within my heart and my soul stays with me, I'm good. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. You found your baby Craigie? <laughs> Let me see him. Baby Craigie. Oh, it's her baby Craigie. Show the friends. Turn it. Say, look at my baby Craigie. Baby Craigie. <laughs> Say bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>